I didn't say you were wrong. I never said in my lecture that a doll's house isn't a feminist statement. If a play is called, uh, quote, state, unquote, okay, okay, you're right, I'm not a woman, like you, or like any woman, I'm not an undergraduate like you, or millions of other young, but I'm still entitled to an opinion, to try to encourage a more nuanced, uh, I hope American society hasn't reached a point where, yeah, you're right, I'm making a speech, rather a thin-skinned speech. That's a clumsy phrase, almost impossible to articulate. No actor would want to say thin-skinned speech. I'm not trying to charm you out of your ideas. I wander, okay? I'm a professor. <laughs> so, Nora's husband, yes, Torvald, I know you know. I'm not patronizing you or any other. Nora expects Torvald to sacrifice himself for her, to say he forged a loan when it was her, and blah, blah, he's a jerk and won't do it, and she's disillusioned with him and leaves. And everyone says, go, Nora! No, I'm not patronizing her either. She's not real. She's a character. Her gender doesn't matter. It's not why I said, go, Nora. I say, go, Derek Jeter. It's a nerd thing, if you like. <laughs> I'm a professor. But consider this analogy. Let's say a husband and wife are driving down a nearly deserted street late at night, the woman driving, and she runs a red light and kills a man. There are no witnesses. The couple decides not to hit and run, but to report the accident. So the question is, should the husband say he was driving and take the blame to protect the wife? They don't have time to email the ethicist in the New York Times Magazine and wait for an answer. <sighs> I'm not trying to be funny about something serious. I'm a professor. And I'm supposed to, you know, be engaging. That's what students say. They like. Okay. I fall flat. That's why I'm a professor and not... Uh, so what's the feminist answer to this serious question? Really? Who gives a shit if a man gets killed? I... Well, I wasn't expecting something like that. Your humor is no better than mine. I mean, if it is humor, which I assume, it was not a bad analogy. Oh, it's about a husband and wife and how they, okay, please explain. I see, okay, Nora's crime wasn't an accident. She forged to get money to save her husband's life. It was not a bullshit analogy. It's not some sports analogy that men are always coming up with. I grant that feminists have a point about men using sports analogies to exclude them. As a professor, I sometimes feel excluded myself from those discussions. Look, if you want to think I use a male analogy that takes no account of feelings, okay. But I prefer to see it as a problem of imperfect logical correspondence, which affects all analogies. Yes, I realize you have to get to your next class. The takeaway, like I've been saying, I'm a professor, and of course, you're a student. So don't worry, this little discussion won't affect your grade one way or another. Whether you care or not, it won't. Some students care. I'm, I'm not patronizing you again. Who's next out there? All right, send her in. I never said in my lecture that a doll's house is a welcome feminist statement that makes men speak of traditional marriage. In fact, consider this analogy. Let's say you apply to graduate school and your mother forges a letter of recommendation and says it's by one of your professors. And you get admitted. 
And then the grad school finds out about mom's forgery and kicks you out. And you say, Mom, how could you do that? And your mom says she forged it because she loves you. And you say, Mom, you're crazy. And she says, you're ungrateful. If you, my daughter, loved me like I love you, you would tell the grad school you forged it yourself and protect me <laughs> from the law. So we could say that Nora is like your mom and is acting like a crazy idiot. Then Ibsen would actually be defending traditional. <laughs> mother would never do anything except to your father's <laughs> command. That's your family's tradition? Oh. Anything else is radical militant feminism that threatens our fabric of freedom? Okay. Maybe I need to rethink what tradi what's traditional in light of all the forms of fundamentalism burgeoning in our country. Okay. You're right. Maybe I'm just so good at analogies. Perhaps, maybe. But, but I'm no defender of wild-eyed feminism. You can ask the student who is in here, instead of sounding like you get your talking points from Fox News, like female students at elite colleges are suing to make monks pay for their contraceptives. Okay, I'm not good at being funny either. I've been told, I've been, I'm a professor, a professor. I'm not good at, I'm not anything. I'm giving everyone an A for putting up with me. <laughs> I'm not patronizing you. You all think different, but you're all the same. Office hours are over. I, I, I'm not throwing you at them. Take my office, all of you. It's yours. I'm going to you. We all scream at each other because we're entitled to disagree. We've earned the right. Yes, I realize you have to get to your next class. May you take many classes and get many degrees and end up just as fulfilled as... <laughs> <laughs>